Hello everybody, Glutton Galore here once again for a new video and let's begin. So for this video I will be showcasing some items that I recently purchased from the men's Louis Vuitton Spring Summer 2021. I think these items are very fun, I think you guys will love them and let's begin. So first off I'm going to start a little bit small and let me just get the correct name so that way there is no confusion because people always do ask me. And the first item I will be showcasing is called the Pocket Organizer on the Louis Vuitton website. And if you look at the item number, you can put on their search box. It is M80163. And they are currently out of stock. And I do believe a lot of the pieces from the collection are out of stock. So in case you have an essay or a sales associate, as I want to just make it a little bit more easier for you to understand, uh, definitely it's very important to have one nowadays, especially if you want to get those hard to get pieces and things from future collections, they're becoming very limited and they really sometimes, due to COVID, they've also been limiting the number of items that are being produced. So you want to make sure you have that connection just to, as I mentioned in my previous video, secure those items. So I will begin with the pocket organizer. As everybody knows, they always come wrapped up. So let me just get this one for a quick picture. So let's begin with the first item. So this one's actually not an item that I will be using. This is actually an item that is going to be gifted to my brother. He is okay with me. He is in college right now and due to COVID, no one can visit. So he is okay with me unwrapping it. So here is the item. It comes in this small dust bag and it is amazing. Just look at this item. Hopefully the camera is picking it up. It is in this nice. Let me make sure it is in the T-A-U-R-I-L-L-O-N monogram leather. It's cowhide leather trim. It has five pockets on the inside, three card slots, and there is an outside pocket as well. And for those who were wondering, the measurements are 3.1 by 4.3 by 0 0.04 inches, 0 0.4 inches, sorry. And yeah, it's part of this. It is really, uh, I just wanna, I don't know what it's like, uh, it's the Motley Crew. So I don't know exactly which one this is. It's so hard to understand. I'm trying to see which one it is, but I call them little monsters as I mentioned in my previous video. But you can see this little like dragon looks amazing when you open it you can see how it holds especially here you have an outdoor pocket and it just looks amazing i mean just look at the detailing on it that uh, the texture on the leather and you can see the monogram but it isn't so loud and the inside is this amazing white you can see all the slots for cards cards uh, cards and you can see there's one, two, you know, they just have all these little spots for cards. And I guess this is to maintain the shape. This one is actually a made in France, as you can see by the detailing. I mean, you can tell even like the year of the collection. So I think it's a really nice piece. Let's go with the second item. I'm brushing a little bit just because I have things to do. And my camera tends to also die pretty quickly. So first item is done. Let's go with the second item. We know the deal. Blue ribbon, orange box. This one comes with that nice little like clasp. You can open it. I love these ones actually. I just always like keeping like trinkets, letters, or shit like that that I always like to. So similar to the item, it is comes in a dust bag. As we all know, you it's a flap. You open it and you pull it in this so let me just showcase this item really quickly so this is the soft trunk wallet and for those who want to search the item on Louis Vuitton it's m80146 you can just put that in the search box and it also comes in that same monogram leather I don't know how to spell it how to say it. it's the Toulon Toulon leather it's also in white and I've always wanted this type of leather since uh Virgil came out with that first collection that he took out in 2019, I believe. Uh, what was it? Fall, winter, especially because he did a soft trunk in this type of leather and I really wanted it. But at that time, 
I was like, I couldn't really afford it. Now I can. So I was like, let me get it. So, you know, you can see, let me just showcase you that detail. It's in that same amazing white leather. As you can see, just look at the, sh uh, and these little figurine, I like calling them monsters. I keep saying that, but little figurines look amazing. I mean, hopefully the camera is capturing that amazing detail, that texture. I love the fact that there's leather on the corners. You know how I always mentioned when there is that metal, they do chip. This one will just get dirty, but it's softer. It is a nice size. I know it's a wallet, but it's amazing. But I mean, if you guys want to get a close up shot, you can see. Look at all the figurines. Oh, they look amazing. All the hardware is also in white. I'm pretty sure this will chip over time, but as I'm accustomed to it now and the zipper detailing is white as well. As you guys can see, the corners are all leather. The hardware you can see. The screws are also engraved with the LV flower. Uh, oh, actually, this side I think looks better if you really want to see the, the detailing of the leather and the LV. You can just see how it looks off the light. So I think this is important, especially for those who may not like this side. This side, I mean, it really, you can use it either way because the way that the clouds are done, there's basically one on each side. So regardless of where you put it, you're always going to have the symmetry that people look so it comes with a strap that it says the inside is leather and synthetic and the outside is cowhide leather it has a total of seven holes where you can adjust the bag so it really is very adjustable you can really play with the size how long you want the left to be and then it has this little ball which feels like it feels like metal and you can just Use it and then you will press it, I guess, in it. And then to make sure to hold. And you can see the texture on the leather as well. There is no monogram on it, but the texture is amazing. I've never had a white bag, so I'm interested to see how they last. The handle, because I always tend to get my handle super dirty just because I always wear hand creams and stuff like that. And here are the little clasps. I love how they actually just kept that metal because, you know, when you move it and back and forth, it's going to shave off the, the white coating. So keeping that. And you can see that nice LV. I mean, hopefully you guys can see. You can see the LV on the clasp as well. And then do that on both sides. And then you will put it on your own bag. So I guess they really want you to do it yourself. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm not sure if you guys are interested. Yes. Hopefully you guys are. So as I mentioned before, you can really see how the bag is. I mean, we can do it this way. I'm going to stand up. Oh. So if you wanna just keep that nice clean cut, you see it's that nice white, but the camera's not picking up. Or you can be uh, like me and have the more fun side and you have your little figurines right here. I mean, but I think it is amazing. It's amazing. It's a great color and I can't wait to use this a lot. So, I mean, let's get this bag. You know, that's the bag as you can see. So let's continue. I don't even know what it's called. I don't have the name for it. I apologize, but you can see the detailing and the color. It is canvas. It is not leather, but it has that amazing uh, just look at the pattern, amazing black and white. Has a nice pop of color. I think Virgil loves orange because he includes oranges on everything. And as opposed to other bags, this one actually has a metallic clasp. So you can see there's a metallic clasp right here where you can see Louis Vuitton, Paris, hopefully, I'm not sure if the camera's captured. And then it has it on the top here as well. And that's how the bag closes. You can use it as a little like clutch. 
on the inside it is black canvas has one interior pocket and you have a nice strap where you can just similar this one actually is easier to put as you can see it's right here it is so easy i've used it a couple times already and people love it and i would recommend it i know they sold out and it's one of the most highly sought after designs right now from lb so the struggle oh and i forgot to mention you guys so in the inside of the soft trunk wallet you can actually open it and it kind of opens the zippers go all the way around and you get that accordion style so when you open it it has more canvas on the inside it's like a light gray it has one zippered pocket and then you have another spot here as well and then you have what i would consider the wallet so you have a total of three card slots as you can see and then it has another flap in the inside as well this is the leather as well this one is made in paris as well and it's nice because i'm, I'm guessing in france it's like runway men the location and the year so it'll be uh defile ome uh print toms it's 2021 i know i butchered it don't judge me don't come for me in the videos but uh yeah i just wanted to do that real quickly great bag last one let's try to get this into five minutes because my battery is about to die so it comes in this amazing big box for those who have shopped lb before you know that is how the keepals 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 come so i didn't ask for all that tissue paper i was just like don't give me that shit. so here we have this huge dust bag it looks like you're gonna box with it but uh let's open it and we have what is an amazing amazing keep off from the same spring summer 2021 collection i've actually been putting off getting a keep off for a while just because the one that i use I don't use, I use it a lot and I've used it a lot, but I mean, we're not traveling right now. We can't travel. I don't know when it'll be safe to travel once again. So I was like, let me not get it. But once she's like, oh, look, there's a piece that, you know, you may be interested. And if you want, I, you know, I can sell it to you. And I'm guessing someone maybe purchased it and then uh, canceled it or sometime because online it was already out of stock. Sometimes they will have pieces that they'll only offer to certain clients and they'll, you know, you know, they'll order them specifically to have some items for the store so that they can actually show people who come in. But uh, this item looks amazing. I was like, oh, maybe I'm like, nah, but then I don't have, my people is in the black monogram canvas and then having this in this, uh, you know, in the brown, in the classic LB, you know, brown uh, looks amazing. It's basically the same as any other. It does have that contrasting with the black and the canvas. Uh, I mean, let me give you guys the name of it so that you guys can know because I was looking for it. So it's the Keepall, you know, it, it's the fifth size 50. And it's in the monogram canvas with matte black leather trim and features a zipper with an orange colored lining, which I love. And it's great for short trips. It really is. It's uh, it's matte black hardware, which I love. It goes perfectly with the bag. You know, that orange really does go great with, as you can see. And I love the fact, I don't know the actual name of whatever his name is. It just says Zoom with Friends film characters from that thingy. But I don't know what, the, I'm guessing, I believe it's called The Wolf. I mean, you can see it. It has the eyes. It has that LB flower. He has a nice LB fit. You can see it, it. He's only on one side, not the other. And you can see amazing, amazing, amazing. And I mean, I literally, I'm telling you, this literally had, I mean, I still have all the stuffing inside it. I think I'm just going to keep the stuffing just because what I typically tend to do with my other keepo, my brother has a keepo as well. Uh, we just use uh, pillows that uh, maybe have lost that fluffness and we just make sure to disinfect them. And we just use that to maintain the nice shape. 
Uh, someone had asked me, they're like, oh, did you get the lock hand? I did not know. I, for a minute, I was like, I'm not sure. But uh, you can see it. It does come in a lock. I've never had them where they come literally fresh, fresh. So, I mean, the lock is literally comes in this little box. It comes with two black matte keys. I mean, so yeah. these are the keys. It's two of them. Just gonna put them right there. Uh, this box has nothing else. And the lock itself. Here you can see it says Louis Vuitton Paris. It's in the matte black hardware as well. Just gonna keep them in this little dust bag. Please. Okay, so cut dust bag, keep it in there, and so then throw it in here. I'm actually gonna leave it in the plastic bag. And I'm telling you, uh, so everything literally comes disassembled. The leather tag comes in black. The straps, I'm telling you, I think I've just never, you know, I'm literally having, I'm not gonna assemble it because I think we all know what a keep all looks like right now. I mean, the little tag that, you know, I'm not going to show it because I'm not sure. But the straps literally are black. They literally, that's how they come. And I'm not going to build it because mm, I think we all know what a keepo looks like. I mean, I think there's plenty of videos, so I'm not going to bore you guys with that information or that, you know, wasting five minutes on just building it. <laughs> So I'm gonna leave it in the bag that it came in. It comes in these detailings. I'm just gonna throw everything in here and put it in the bag and just that's it. I mean, what can I say guys? I mean, I'm gonna just leave it right here. So what are my thoughts on the collection? So when I first saw images of it and I saw the show, I was like, I, I didn't know how to feel about it. I was like, okay, maybe these pieces are a little bit too much. They're a little extra for my taste. I'm like, I'm not sure if I will get a much use out of them. But once, I mean, the items started coming and more pictures and then my I got the lookbook. And then once I saw the pictures of the items individually in the lookbook, I was like, I'm really starting to feel this. I'm, writing, you know, I'm starting to feel these items a lot. I'm like, I'm really liking how they look. I thought they were fun. So definitely, I think they were more catering to a younger crowd collections, but I think thinking having bags like this, I mean, you can see it. I mean, hopefully the picture catches it. You see, have one, two, and three, and these are all very different bags. Same, same you know, collection, same designer. And, you know, but, you know, these bags have different functions, they're different sizes. And I think, especially when you're having a collection, it makes more sense to have a nice assortment of pieces so that, you know, you, you, can, you can have fun with the items being presented and enjoy this video as well. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to like this video if you like it. And make sure to, have, you know, see my other videos if you would like as well. I appreciate that. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at Gluddy Galore. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching. And I appreciate everything. And I will see you till the next video, which will be very soon. Thank you. And till next time. Bye.